is Cardiff recession proof? This drift focuses on Cardiff city centre and will observe the effects, if any, of the recent recession, paying specific attention to the atmosphere, aesthetics and socio-economic climate of Cardiff's core. Cardiff is the heart of Wales, with a population of 324,000 and a wider populace of 1.1 million, a beacon of light which drives the Welsh economy, contributing a disproportionately high level of economic output. A former industrial city, Cardiff has diversified becoming the service centre for the rest of the Welsh economy, with heavy investment in the centre's infrastructure. On establishing the focus of our research, we decided that Cardiff City Hall would be a prime start location as it runs parallel with the CBD. We walked clockwise around Cardiff Centre assessing the current socio-economic climate of the city, visiting such areas as Queen Street, St David Centre, Royal Arcade, the Capital Centre, the Hayes, the Millennium Stadium and eventually ending back at City Hall. We've applied Burgess's zonal model of urban form to help us understand the processes that take place within the city centre. The innermost zone in this model is known as the Central Business District, centre to the majority of economical, commercial, social and cultural activity. Commonly, city centres have the highest land values and commercial property values. This is reflected in the high proportion of retail outlets whose activities are concerned with the generation of profits necessary to pay the high rents and taxes charged in this area. Cardiff CBD contains the head offices of financial institutions, expensive hotels, civic buildings, as well as other leisure outlets. Cardiff's main transport terminals are also located here, and thus the greatest numbers of people are commuting to and from the city each day. Therefore, in terms of residential type, this is a sparsely settled area with few people being able to afford or in fact choosing to live in the central zone. As can be seen in November 2008 when it was reported that only 8 of the 304 apartments in the newly developed St David Centre had been sold. As the recession continues, there is much talk about how shop closers are changing the face of high streets and shopping centres across the UK. There is plenty of discussion and research about the effect this will have upon towns and cities. Store closures are primarily a long-term structural issue, rather than solely a short-term cyclical effect of the recession. Shopping habits have been changing gradually, with consumer demands for greater choice, increased price sensitivity and more mobility leaving many local, independently owned stores unable to compete. On our drift around Cardiff, we experienced further evidence of the recession. We noticed 28 empty retail and commercial properties. A proliferation of vacancies clearly lessens the experience and enjoyment of shoppers, reducing shopping to a functional activity rather than the leisure pastime which retailers aspire to create and which is beneficial for both shopper and retailer alike. Cardiff's Council needs to consider how shops or shopping centres could be used in the future and must address the associated planning issues. In shopping centres and out-of-town retail parks, there is an opportunity to combine units and or strengthen existing mixes of retailers. The quality of, of the visual environment deteriorates in areas where a large number of shops are boarded up, or worse still, vandalised. Longer term, if shops are allowed to decay, this can create unsafe or no-go areas which have a wider impact upon the surrounding communities. Vacant properties work to create low levels of consumer confidence as shoppers are deterred by boarded up shops each time they venture out onto the high streets and shopping centres. However, if these sites could be put into different use, there is the opportunity to improve the environments in areas where it is clear that properties will never return to their former retail use. This is something that Cardiff Council have attempted to do and have been relatively successful in doing so. It is possible that many of these closures are a result of the inability for retail owners to meet the high rental rates, a common characteristic of many CBDs. For example, the St David Centre on the opening day, the 22nd of October 2009, only 58 of its 88 stores opened, and, and in May 2009, 43% of the retail space was yet to be left. The train station within Cardiff city centre is the main arterial transport link to and from Cardiff. Therefore, the first impression individuals have as they arrive is a derelict and deprived bus and train station. 
The poor conditions of these facilities are further exaggerated due to their close proximity to the recently regenerated city centre. This could be evidence of how the local government have been unable to keep up with private developments in the city through a lack of capital. Another problem facing the Welsh capital includes the heavy debt that faces the Welsh Rugby Union. Due to the £121 million construction costs of the Millennium Stadium, the WRU found themselves experiencing financial difficulties. As a result, the WRU were forced to locate public and private investment in order to fund the project. As a consequence, the North Stand was never fully completed and remains partly finished to this day. Between September 2007 and April 2009, the number of people claiming job seekers allowance nearly doubled from 4,486 to 8,759, an increase of 95%. Over the same time period, the number of job centre vacancies more than halved from 3,522 to 1,498. This resulted in six people claiming job seekers allowance for every one vacancy advertised in April 2009. Unemployment in Cardiff is the sixth highest in Wales at nearly 1 in 10. Its economic inactivity rate is above the Welsh average and it is higher than the much stereotyped Merthyr Tydfil and is particularly high for the inactive who would like a job. There is also evidence to suggest a large brain drain from Cardiff's educational institutes such as Cardiff University. Once students have graduated, they are likely to leave Cardiff in search of work elsewhere. This in turn may not be a direct impact of the current recession, but the lack of opportunities for both graduates and local residents within Cardiff City Centre means that there is a knowledge drain. This has a further negative impact on the city. Being the Welsh capital, Cardiff has much financial support ensuring that communities do not lose valuable shops and services. The transformation of Cardiff Bay along with the regeneration of St David's Shopping Centre, the development of the Millennium Stadium and other regeneration investments stand Cardiff in good stead to weather out the recent economic recession. The most obvious transformation and critically evaluated regeneration project within the city centre is that of the St David Centre. Our initial reaction and experience within the shopping centre closely resembles that of a large American style shopping mall. One member of our group drew distinct connections to Eaton Mall in downtown Toronto. Through our drift we have also paid specific attention to the arcades. These are home to some of Cardiff's most exciting and fashionable boutiques, shops, jewellers and cafes situated right in the heart of Cardiff. The arcades have also benefited from retail regeneration in Cardiff Centre as an alternative, unique and original shopping experience, reminiscent of London's arcades or even J.K. Rowling's fictional Diagon Alley in Harry Potter. Another development within the centre is that of the Millennium Stadium. The Millennium Stadium is more than just a sporting arena. It can be compared to a dormant volcano that, when erupts, unites the nation. Cardiff City Centre becomes a sea of Welsh pride, creating an emotional attachment. Yi Fu Tian's work on public symbols explains how Match Day in Cardiff not only brings financial benefits to local businesses, specifically to food and drink establishments, but also creates an emotional charge throughout the city. A feeling that words cannot describe, it has to be experienced in order to be understood. One of the main challenges for planners while undertaking any city centre regeneration is to blend the new contemporary architecture with the existing traditional mock style. 
On our drift, we felt a synergy throughout the old and new, creating a more vibrant and comfortable atmosphere. A modern city that retains character, helping to make the livability of the area feel comfortable for the urban life. While undertaking this drift, the empirical data we have collected provides evidence to suggest that Cardiff has been affected by the recent economic downturn. On the other hand, as a group, we feel that Cardiff has maintained a lively and vibrant atmosphere despite the financial situation. Developments such as the St David Centre and other regeneration projects have enabled Cardiff to find stability in these uncertain times.